in this video we're going to discuss layers. Now in Estimator for SketchUp we use layers uh, for a number of reasons and in this case uh, this is a slab that we've put on a layer that's, that's um, the name of it is slab but it's on a layer called FOO slab. Alright the reason we're doing this on a layers is when we save this as a template file every time we go to draw a slab in the next models we're going to have all the pricing information baked in. So in other words, let's take a look at this closer. This slab has uh, five, in this case, five associated costs with this one piece of geometry. All right. Now we have various attributes that we can use. You think of this slab, we have square footage that we could use for whatever we want to calculate on a square footage basis. We have the volume, in this case cubic yards, for the actual amount of concrete. So we can use the attribute to create as many associated costs as we'd like. So in this case, uh, the first one that we created was we put a, signed a cost code here in, uh, for slabs. Now these cost codes can be any cost code you want. If you upload your own CSV file, in this case it's using an NAHB cost codes. We give it a description. This is the concrete slab. We give it a vendor, sign a vendor. Its attribute which we're using cubic yards. There is no multiplier because we've already got our attribute in the, in the desired unit. We put our unit rate in and we put our cubic yardage in for the display. I'm putting a 10% waste factor to this and 5.3% sales tax. Then I can create an additional uh, associated cost, which the next one I created was the actual forming of this slab. So in this case, I've got form work. Uh, forming the slab is a description. My vendor, I'm using the square feet attribute and I pay a 50 cents a square foot for the form work. There's no sales tax on labor, so uh, that's that one. Next item is um, I'm adding a vapor barrier underneath this slab. And in this case, let's say I'm using a 16 foot by 100 foot roll of poly underneath it. My vendor, I'm using square feet. And in this case, I'm using a multiplier and I'm dividing by 1600 because it's 16 by 100 foot roll and then a unit rate of $30 per roll. I'm putting a waste factor in there and state sales tax. And it's going to round up to how many rolls. This is a small slab, so obviously you're gonna have some left over, but it would be one roll of poly for this. Next, the item that I added was the actual labor to place this. So the description is finishing slab under its proper cost code. My vendor, I'm using square feet because I paid by the square feet. Uh, 60 cents per square foot. There's no sales tax. Then lastly, I added a termite protection in here that is also done by square feet. So you can add as many associated costs as you wish, and you can also delete them. So that's an example of, of using layers. If I go to reports after I selected that and run an HTML report, you can see everything that's associated with that slab in this report. I've got the termite protection and all these other cost codes that are in here and for the total dollar amount. So that's a quick description about layers. And again, you can save these to a template file. So the next time you draw a slab and assign it to that layer, you'll instantly have all those costs associated with that piece of geometry. Thanks for watching.